Hello everybody, Northern Hero here and um, the second epistle of Paul, the Apostle to the Corinthians. So, second Corinthians now, ladies and gentlemen. New King James Version. Greeting, I, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God and Timothy, our brother, to the church of God, which is at Corinth with all the saints who are all who who are in all Achaia Achaia I think that's how you pronounce it or Achaia Grace to you and peace from God our Father and to the Lord Jesus Christ comfort in suffering blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble, with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consol consolation also abounds through Christ. Now if we are afflicted, it is for your consol consolation and salvation, which is effective for enduring the same sufferings which we also suffer. Or if we are comforted, it is... For your consolation and salvation. And our hope for you is steadfast. Because we know that as you are partakers of the sufferings. So also you will partake of the consolation. Delivered from suffering. For we do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, for our trouble which came to us in Asia, that we were burned, oh sorry, burdened beyond measure, above strength, so that we dis despaired even of life. Yes, we had the sentence of death in ourselves. That we should not trust in ourselves, but in God, who raises the dead. Who delivered us from so great a death, and does deliver us, in whom we trust that he will still deliver us. You also helping together in prayer for us. That thanks may be given by many persons on our behalf for the gift granted to us through many. For our boasting is this, the testimony of our conscience that we conducted ourselves in the world in simplicity and godly sincerity, not with fleshly wisdom, but by the grace of God, and more abundantly toward you. For we are not writing any other things to you that, um, to you than what you read or understand. Now I trust you will understand even to the end, as also you have understood us in part. That we are your boast, as you also are ours, in the day of our Lord Jesus, sparing the church. And this, and in this confidence, I intended to come to you before that you might have a second benefit, to pass by way of you to Macedonia to come again from Macedonia to you and be helped by you on the way to Judea. 
Therefore, when I was planting the, planning this, did I do it lightly? Or the things I plan, do I plan according to the flesh that with, according to the flesh, that with me there should be yes, yes, and no, no. But as God is faithful, our word to you was not yes and no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by us, by me, Sylvanus and Timothy, was not yes and no, but in him was yes. For all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him, amen, to the glory of God through us. Now he who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us is God who also has sealed us and given us the spirit in our hearts as a guarantee moreover I call God as witness against my soul that to spare you I came no more to Corinth not that we have dominion um, over your faith, but are fellow workers for your joy, for by faith you stand. Chapter 2 But I determined this within myself, that I would not come again to you in sorrow, for if I make you sorrowful, then who is he who makes me glad but the one who is made sorrowful by me. Forgive the offender. And I wrote this very thing to you, lest when I came I should have sorrow over those from whom I ought to have joy, having confidence in you, all that my joy is the joy of you all. For out of much affliction and anguish of heart I wrote to you, with many tears, not that you should be grieved, but that you might know the love which I have so abundantly for you. But if anyone has caused grief, he has not grieved me. For all of you, to some extent, not to be so severe. This punishment was, uh, sorry, this punishment, which was inflicted by the majority, is sufficient for such a man. So that, on the contrary, you ought rather to forgive and comfort him, lest perhaps such a one be swallowed up with too much sorrow. Therefore, I urge you to reaffirm your love to him. For to this end I also wrote that I might put you to the test whether you are obedient in all things. Now whom you forgive anything, I also forgive. For if indeed I have forgiven anything, I have forgiven that one for your sakes in the presence of Christ. Lest Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Triumph in Christ. Furthermore, when I came to Troas to preach Christ's gospel, and a door was opened to me by the Lord, I had no rest in my spirit because I did not find Titus, my brother, but taking my leave of them, I departed for Macedonia. Now, thanks be to God, 
who always leads us in triumph in Christ. And through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. For we are to God the fragrance of Christ. Among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To the one we are the aroma of death leading to death. And to the other the aroma of life leading to life. And who is sufficient for these things? For we, for we are not, as so many peddling, the word of God, but as of sincerity. But as from God, we speak in the sight of God in Christ. We'll leave it there. I'm Northern Hero. God bless, bye, and um, say bye to this year because we're coming into a brand new year and hopefully it will be better than 2020.